Scene 1.64. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to put a bird on it. Actually, we're going to put two, but that's kind of beside the point, isn't it? So I have this here board thingy, okay? It's um, made from MDF. I picked it up at uh, Michael's a few weeks ago, a month ago. It was like 75% off. How could I not get it? And mainly the reason I got it is because a friend of mine and I and my other friend, we were walking around looking at old antique type stores. And there was this board looking thing that had birds painted on it, okay? It was way much bigger than this. But still, I saw this and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make my friend a thing to hang up out in her yard or under her patio. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, that's perfect. And I thought, well, I'll just go. Oh, he can, y'all. <laughs> I see he got off and on in here. And he got. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would get this and uh, sort of mimic what that was. This in no way even looks remotely like the other one that we saw at the store. Anyway, so I painted my creases, you know, that's supposed to be in between the board slats uh, black because I didn't think they were dark enough. They weren't dark enough to suit me anyway, so that's what I did. And now I'm sanding over the whole thing. Uh, not a lot, just, just a little bit. And uh, wiping all that off with a uh, wet baby wipe. Because, you know, I don't necessarily want to be breathing all that stuff. And I don't want it mixing in with my other junk. And, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So be sure to get down in them creases. Because they are creases. So, yeah. They're faux, faux slats, y'all. Wipe off my tabletop. Nice and pretty. There's my little taped string on the back. So this is the uh, napkin I'm going to collage on there. And in some cases, just bits and parts of it. I'm going to use my, uh, well, it's not my, you know, it's everybody's. It's just kind of the easiest way I find to cut the edges on a napkin is uh, to water cut it. Now I'm peeling off the two layers off the back. This particular one has two layers. Sometimes they just have one and sometimes they have two. And you want to definitely get rid of those, okay? Well, hang on to them. You can use them for other things. Okay, okay. So here's the water cutting, and I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to decide uh, what part do I want. And I'm just going to cut essentially right across the middle to start with, and then I, uh, in a little while, I'll be shaping that around. Now this project took um, maybe 45 minutes. It wasn't too terrible long. I let it dry overnight, and then I sprayed it with a uh, UV protection by Krylon and after that dried uh, most of that day I sprayed uh, triple thick on it so yeah and I'm cutting that water cutting that in half because as you can see I, there's no, it doesn't quite fit my board's a little bigger than that no I didn't measure it so I really don't know so now I'm going to water cut around some stuff to fill in that gap in the middle and this ends, y'all, I'm just so happy with this. I don't know if my friend's going to get it. No, she'll get it because that was my intention from the beginning. <sighs> yeah, it's true. So just water cutting around. And uh, there's a, a big emblem right there. I don't want that. Um, so I'm just going to remove that. See, ta-da, removed it. And I think I come back and, and water cut out a couple of dragonflies. I'm not sure if I show you all that part because I did. Did you all hear that bird? Hmm. This, uh, this, I, forgot, I got lost, y'all. I don't know what I was saying. That bird just distracted me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I show you um, all the water cutting I did because there's like this um, collagey stuff up there in the napkin and I take some of that out there's a couple postage stamp images I take those off as well 
I decided they, they weren't going to work with this project too well. Not that they would necessarily be that identifiable, but still, you know, it's, just, you know, it's my project. Okay? Okay. So, there we go. Now, I think I've sped it up now. Anyway, it took took 45 minutes to an hour, maybe. I guess an hour if you add up all the spray times that, you know, I didn't count or film. So, anyways. And I got it whittled down to uh, just a hair over 15 minutes. So there you go. Now I want the uh, that part right there to work into the middle so it kind of gets a little, uh, so it'll be just a little more blendy-y, blender-ish. Yeah, more blending. <laughs> And you can't see that part real well once the matte medium gets on there because it does. It just melts right into the background. But you can kind of tell when you're up close. Okay, just saying. So let's matte medium these babies down. And I put a bunch out there. I'm just going to smear it all over the place, y'all. And see, that's about where that one needs to go. And that's kind of how I do it because I want that in the back. And it can make a difference. Um, when you get finished on what's in the background and what you layer on top because whatever you layer on top of will somewhat show through okay and you kind of got to get up personal with this one up close and personal up and personal <sighs> anyway so yeah moving along more matte medium y'all it's just it's going to be the same thing a lot excuse me one second <clears throat> sorry <laughs> so anyway now we're going to put that little corner piece on and I end up scrubbing a little too hard you do have to be careful because napkins are delicate y'all and when they get wet they're really delicate especially when you're just dealing with a single layer okay they're they're essentially to me a little more delicate than tissue paper okay okay see I got it just smeared it around there but I fix it I come back and I fix it a little bit later any little hose I got I can just stick a little piece of that similar color in there and it'll be just fine this, this beer just can't even see it now this board does have some texture on it and like I said those little uh, grooves the slap between the slats there is kind of a little divity so I'm working uh, my napkin kind of down into those creases y'all because I don't want to leave air bubbles where, you know, water or spiders could live. I just don't want to do that. Well, yes, I am expecting her to put this out there on her patio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will recommend that she keeps it up underneath the eave, though, because it's MDF. And it may not do that great if it gets in the weather weather. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it would be fine out there underneath the eave. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I guess I could have sped this up a lot more. But so it goes. That's the story of my life, right? Heat gun, y'all. <laughs> I tell you, the heat is on around here. It is summertime, big time summer. And it is not necessarily summer calendar wise, but you know, so it goes. Now I know that doesn't look like it blends real well, but just hang in there. Here we cut. There it goes. See, dunk, dunk, dunk. that was that was the refrigerator dropping ice. Well, the freezer was dropping ice. The refrigerator doesn't make ice. The freezer does. Mm -hmm. So there was a little hole down there, and I patched it up. And here we go. This is finished. And I've decided. Um, oh no, I'm going to cut off the the little edges that hung off because you do want to get rid of them. Okay. Now I have a new craft blade in my knife. A new knife in my craft blade. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I'm trimming it out. And yeah, I'm being really careful with my finger. Because that's sharp. And I sure, sure do, I sure like my fingers, y'all. <laughs> Just saying. I like my fingers. And it kind of messes you up when you get hurt on your fingers. And then you, you can't do too much. Because, you know, you got hurt fingers and stuff. So, And that is a self-healing cutting mat underneath there. And I guess eventually one day I'm going to have to replace it because it's getting, it's getting a little less healy. <laughs> and some of my lines are kind of disappearing there. 
All I have to, I, I'll keep it for another 20 years. But I really don't know how long I've had it. A long time, y'all. So just trimming all that out. Um, I sped some of it away. You're welcome. <laughs> some of it I didn't, didn't speed away. Careful poking at that end of that knife, good girl. Good gracious. All right. There we go. Now, any loose edges, put that put that lid on there. Any loose edges, I'm going to go back around uh, with matte medium. And in this case, I didn't have any, but there was a little fraying on the edge. So I'm taking an emery board, you know, a nail file, and I'm filing over that. Now, I'm not going back and forth. It might look like I'm going back and forth, but I'm not. I'm putting it down and dragging down, I'm pulling it away, and then putting it down and dragging down. So... Go one direction, y'all, because if you get to go in two, two directions, you're going to pull all that out and fray it up even worse or er than it was. All right? So there, I'll just put a little oh, matte medium right there because that part just wasn't quite stuck. Isn't that cute, y'all? That's so cute. Now, I'm uh, using some uh, removable ATG tape stuff. It's removable tape. The tape's not necessarily, but anyway, you can pull stuff back off of it is what I'm trying to say. Because I'm going to put this sentiment on there that I thunk up myself. And if anybody else has already used it, I'm sorry, I thought I thunk it up myself because I don't think I never did seed it before. So, anyway, I'm sticking my letters down. Yes, that S is, is bigger than the others and because it's going first. And I'm going to use, I decided I wanted to use blue because my birds are blue, but I want it to be dark, you know, so I'm using navy, right? That's a combination of dark and blue, navy. And I'm just planting them all around and I'm scrooching up on the tops and the backs and the middles and all that, making sure I'm getting all my edges covered and all that good stuff. Okay. So that's what I'm doing there. Ooh, get back over there, eh? Hey, what's going on? Egan, <laughs> y'all. There's a little gun going on. Now, you do want to move your letters because you do have paint around there. You don't want to glue them down on, there, on your uh, scratch paper. So you want to move them because the tops are fairly dry, but they're still sitting, yeah, little pools of paint around there. So just moving them all out. I know, try to try to make some words out of that, y'all. It's going to make some words. It will. You'll see. Maybe I'll show you. Yeah. My microphone keeps falling. It fell all the way down to my neck. Well, we'll just leave it there and I'll try not to move too much. So now I'm going to use some um, gel medium, gel, yeah, Liquitex gel on the back. I'm going to glue it onto uh, the MDF. And this takes a long time. <laughs> Lucky for y'all, I sped it up and cut parts out. Okay. So there we go. And my letters are dry. You do want to, you don't want to do this when your letters aren't dry. Now this is where those, those slats, you know, came in handy. I was able to line my letters up per pretty good not necessarily perfectly but pretty good and I thought you know I'm not not liking that blue so I'm go just going over the top of my letters with some plaque and that's just what I'm going to do all the way all my letters they're all glued to down and I'm just going over it and I thought no they're just not quite popping enough so you know one thing leads to another and I said well let's just put some white highlights on there so I just kind of you know scribbled some white lines around there just saying that's what I did and I can't see on my little bitty editing screen, but you can probably see in, on your big, bigger screen, unless you're on the phone, in which case you probably can't see that either. Um, yeah, there it is. Photo montage. Sing your song as if you know all the words. Because sometimes we just make it up as we go along. And sometimes we know all the words, but just can't remember them. Then we keep that tune, that melody going. We don't know it either, so we make one up. Because it's like a musical, musical, musical interlude. A musical interlude for you, for me. Just we, a musical interlude. Copyright disclaimer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And happy art, y'all.